Hello everyone, welcome to Biological Anthropology Lesson 1. This is an introduction to the field of anthropology and what is the field of biological anthropology. In later parts of this lesson, we're also going to discuss uh, how science is used in anthropology and the scientific method. So here we go. What is anthropology and biological anthropology? So here is our outline of topics. We're going to be discussing features of anthropology, defining the five fields of anthropology, focusing in on physical, also called biological anthropology, and also talking about the scientific method, uh, specifically focusing on the difference between a hypothesis and a theory and how the term theory is used in science. And then we will have our conclusion. Physical anthropology is the study of human biology within the framework of evolution with an emphasis on the interaction between biology and culture. So here in this lesson, anytime you see physical anthropology, I want you to think of biological anthropology as well. Those two terms are used interchangeably, although physical is a little bit more old fashioned than what many colleges are now changing to uh, call it biological anthropology. So please pay attention to this definition. Evolution is defined as a change in the genetic makeup of a population over time. Or you could say this is a change in the gene frequency of a population over time. Physical or biological anthropology is a scientific discipline concerned with the biological and behavioral characteristics of human beings and our closest relatives, the non-human primates. What is anthropology? In this section of the lesson, we'll discuss what distinguishes anthropology from other fields that study human beings, how do anthropologists study diversity in time and space, so different humans throughout the past, the present, and across all parts of the globe, and why is anthropology both scientific and humanistic? So anthropology is the study of humans. Anthropologists study human beings and their products wherever and whenever they find them. Anthropology explores human diversity across time and space, seeking to understand as much as possible about the human condition. So anthropology is the study of humans. The word anthropology actually means human study, anthropos and logia. So anthropology is, again, the study of humans. Anthropologists seek to understand questions about humans and humanity. These are some acceptable definitions of anthropology. The study of humans and humanity, the all-encompassing study of humanity, and the study of humankind in all times and places. Anthropology is not the same as paleontology, the study of prehistoric non-human life. In order for there to be anthropology, humans or humanity must be the topics of study. So there's a common misconception that anthropologists uh, study dinosaurs. They don't. That would be a paleontologist. However, sometimes uh, in archaeology, uh, animal bones or remains will be found. That would be uh, a topic of study for a zooarchaeologist. So let's say there was an archaeological site with both prehistoric human and animal remains, and you wouldn't even necessarily need human remains, maybe just traces of a human, like um, tools or something like that. And let's just say that the animal was prehistoric, like a mammoth, or it could be any animal. But in this case, it would be studied by a zooarchaeologist who is an anthropologist that specializes in the study of animal remains within an archaeological context. And we will explain and define archaeology later in the lesson.